Καλησπέρα. Thank you for the introduction, Mr. Belokas. I'm glad to participate in this forum uh, on behalf of Large Comarine Management and the Operational Technology and Energy Management Department. Today, I will present you a project we are running on a gas carrier about adopting a condition-based maintenance notation. Uh, let's say a few words about the types of maintenance as approved by the class. Initially, the vessels are enrolled in the continuous review of machinery as per which the equipment is inspected within a cycle of five years and the relevant records are provided by the class surveyor during the annual survey. Nowadays, most of the vessels have an approved planned maintenance system with predefined maintenance tasks as proposed by the manufacturer and approved by the class. The future of maintenance is the condition-based maintenance, which is predictive maintenance approach using smart technologies and sensor for equipment health. The condition-based maintenance is, increases further the reliability, the reliability and decreases the downtime. It also provides a better planning and control and avoids equipment failures. The condition-based maintenance program drives the equipment inspection well beyond the traditional approach by replacing components at specific age limit regardless of their actual condition. The measurement of operational parameters is necessary to be performed frequently or in real time. LATSCO, in cooperation with American Bureau of Shipping, has entered some critical equipment of the vessel in the condition-based maintenance program. As you can see on the slide, we have enrolled the main and emergency switchboard, the steering gear, the main engine, of course, not all the components of the main engine, but some of the components of this vital machinery, the emergency fire pump and the cargo compressor, which is an important machinery of uh, a gas carrier. The measurement techniques can be split into two categories, the primary and the secondary techniques. The primary techniques shall be reviewed by a recognized service supplier according to the class regulation. However, since, of the, since most of the experts are approved only for vibration analysis and thermography, these are the two main techniques that we have adopted in our project. Although the classification societies permits additional techniques, this can be only used as a supportive to the primary techniques for the selected machineries. With regard to the primary technique, um, the data are collected by crew on board and by the recognized service supplier and the service supplier issues a quarterly condition status report. For the secondary, for the secondary techniques, the measurements are collected by crew on board and uh, the quarterly condition status report is uh, released by the office personnel. These condition status reports are forwarded to the technical department of the shipping company and the technical and electrical superintendents review these reports and uh, take actions if necessary. Um, I would like to mention that the recognized service supplier shall attend the vessel once per year in order to train the crew on board to update their training uh, records and uh, also take and also receive on the spot measurements. Uh, let's now dive a bit deeper into the measurement techniques. The vibration analysis, which is a primary technique, is performed on the steering gear, the main engine, the emergency fire pump and the cargo compressors. The data are collected every three months by crew on board and once per year by the service uh, supplier. A sample quarterly report of the main engine lube oil pump is shown on the right side of the slide. Another technique, primary technique, is the infrared thermography analysis, which is a qualitative technique. The sampling is similar to the vibration analysis and the condition status report is produced every quarter from the service supplier. Using high-end thermographic camera, we measure the main switchboard, the main engine, the emergency fire pump and the cargo compressors. Another primary, 
moving to the secondary techniques, the battery tester is used for the internal resistance and the output voltage of the batteries. The data are gathered per year and the test shall be performed while batteries are at normal condition. The initial measurements indicating good, good condition of the equipment are, used, are utilized as the baseline to identify potential deterioration in the future. Let me now give you a brief overview of the of overcurrent relay protection test that is applied in the switchboards. Using an OCR tester, we can measure the air circuit breaker protection for long and short time delay trip. The testing procedure and the frequency pattern have been um, formulated with the assistance of Hyundai, which is the maker of the switchboards. The direct current insulation resistance test, also known as MEGER test, is another tool for the preventive maintenance of the electrical systems. The quality of the insulation resistance degrades with the time and environmental parameters such as the temperature, the humidity and dust particles. It gets also negatively affected from the presence of electrical and machinery stress. Thus, it is necessary to check the insulation resistance of the equipment at regular inter intervals to avoid any electrical shock. In that respect, crew on board collects data every three months in accordance with the IEEE standards from, for the enrolled machineries. Moving forward to the, sec to the next secondary technique, the oil analysis. Trained personnel on board collects the samples at regular time interval depending on the machinery. The samples are forwarded to approved laboratories and uh, actions are proposed from the technical uh, superintendent in case of poor analysis results. Oil analysis is performed for the steering gear, for the main engine and the cargo compressors. The initial measurements indicating good condition of the equipment of the oil are utilized as a baseline to identify potential deterioration in the future. Artificial intelligence and big data can further benefit vessel efficient operation. To this extent, LATSCO is strongly oriented in, uh, in gradually accommodating new AI based platform, platforms for major equipment such as the main engine and the cargo plant. The two photos on the upper side of the slide are from the main engine remote monitoring system. Uh, as Mr. Ertalemi said before, we use a similar tool for the main engine. You can see in the first picture the engine subscore for several categories, subcomponents of the engine, depicting the the health of the equipment and in a traffic light scheme. The next photo is, uh, is the raw data, the actual data of the main engine uh, in parallel plotted with uh, the shop test of the main engine. The photo on the bottom left side is from the integrated automation system, the engine room alarm monitoring system, in which we are able to have access in the alarm log. The last photo is from the cargo uh, plant system that provides us with insights for improved performance of the cargo equipped uh, compressors. These tools can detect anomalies and also send notification for proactive maintenance to the technical superintendents. Remote monitoring systems are also very useful for troubleshooting instead of exchanging long correspondence and emails with the crew on board. To sum up, we are proud of this pioneer project we are running together with American Bureau of Shipping, taking advantage of preventive maintenance scheme. Last month, our vessel, Ella Sparta, uh, during her annual survey in Singapore, officially received the condition-based maintenance class notation, leading to increased reliability, safety and efficiency on board. Our goal is to proceed with a gradual transition of more vessels to condition-based maintenance scheme. Actually, instead of uh, the new class certificate uh, with the CBM notation, uh, we wanted to present the joint announcement of Flatco and uh, ABS. However, it was finalized uh, just a few hours ago, so it will be released in the media the following days. Thank you very much for your attention.